Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, dignitaries from Vivo and friends from media. A very warm welcome to you all. Before we begin, I would request everyone to either switch off their mobile phones or put them on silent mode. Thank you. Since the beginning of Vivo's journey in India, Vivo has always believed in pushing the limits of smartphone capabilities by delivering innovative products for the consumers. Today, we are here to witness the next level of technological innovation, which will set new benchmarks in the global smartphone industry. The launch today will change the smartphone dream forever. It is a mobile device that will surely change the way consumers interact with their phone and give them the ultimate user experience. To share more about Vivo's journey and philosophy, please put your hands together and join me in welcoming on stage Vivo India's director from brand strategy, Nipun Maria. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm extremely excited to welcome you all to the launch of our next flagship, the Vivo Next. In fact, I think the events team sensed my excitement somewhere during the launch process. And see what they've done. They've ring-fenced me with iron railings all around me. Also, they've kept you guys 20 feet away, so that, just in case, my boxing instincts kick in, at least you guys are safe. So on that safe note, let's begin today's presentation. Today is an incredible day for us. Incredible, because what we are going to present to you today is the biggest and finest innovation from us. Incredible, because it delivers tomorrow's future today. Incredible, because it dares to pursue true perfection while continuously creating the surprising. Vivo Next is the ultimate representation of innovation in design, performance, as well as cutting-edge technologies. This is a smartphone that will open up a whole new world. A world to experience the future and go beyond your imagination. I'm reminded of a few wise words of one of my favorite cricket cricketers, VVS Lakshman. He once said in a talk show, he doesn't judge a player by how well he's hitting the ball or by how many runs he's scoring. He judges the player by what he thinks is the kind of impact this person will have on the future generations of cricketers. And that's what separates a good cricketer from a great cricketer. Taking this definition of greatness, I believe Vivo Next is truly a great device because of the kind of impact Next will have on the design of smartphone in the future, not just from Vivo, but from our competitor brands as well. I've heard people saying, there were smartphones before Next, and now there will be smartphones after Next. All right, let me ask all my media friends here a pertinent question. You get invited to so many media launches every year. But how many times have you been invited to the launch of a product which changes the course of the industry? How many times have you been invited to a product launch which, in which, Henry, in, according to Henry Ford's words, the product is not a faster horse, but a car. How many times have you been invited for witnessing history being created? Ladies and gentlemen, that is the magnitude of impact of Next. And that's why we believe Next is beyond extraordinary. Let me take you through the journey of Next. When we showed the phone at the MWC, 
despite the fact that our phone was a veritable winner, and we got an overwhelming response, a lot of people said it is still only a concept phone. A vast majority of people who saw and experienced the phone concluded it as a great concept phone from Vivo that will never see the light of the day. Yes, never see the light of the day. Leading industry publications said things like, while the innovation has wowed us, the question is how much of this innovation will actually get into the production device. Some others said, Apex is a great concept phone envisioned for the future. However, we feel with all these technologies packed in, the final device will look nothing like this. From that day to going into mass production, to launching it in China, and then running out of stock in just four hours. And today, launching it in India. We feel this is nothing short of a stupendous performance by a team that continuously keeps challenging the status quo, listening to what the consumer is saying and asking itself, what's next? The most recent example of this pursuit of questioning is our latest innovation, time of flight 3D sensing technology. With this technology, we are rapidly approaching the point where your phone will be able to create a 3D representation of your head. How do we do it? Just place your head in front of the phone. Turn it left and then turn it right. And you are presented a fully textured 3D model of your head. Your question to me can be, how is this different from other technologies from other leading brands? Here's the difference. With three lakh sensor points, our technology detects the time taken by an emitted light pulse to return to the camera sensor. And it then accurately maps objects at up to three meters in front of it. Which means this technology is 10 times stronger than from any of our existing competitors. This, ladies and gentlemen, will bring about a paradigm shift in imaging, augmented reality, and human-machine interaction. The possibilities this opens up are immense. You may be able to try on clothes virtually, track gestures for mixed reality games, and provide entirely new ways to immerse yourself in a virtual world. By combining this with AI, you will be able to recreate entire objects digitally. This technology can therefore be used to scan props for education, or even help scan body parts in critical medical emergencies. I'm sure, as I address you here today, there is someone in our R&D team who's adapting this technology into a product, and you may well see it in our next flagship. Coming back to our today's launch, well, I would now like to call on stage a subject matter expert, someone who's as excited about technology as we are, and someone whose positive reviews and comments we all smartphone makers itch for. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage Rajiv Makhni. start, I have to say that when you talk about a very innovative phone, this has got to be the most innovative way to launch a phone. You actually have to climb, climb up a, a staircase. And it's right, I think they have set a cage around you uh, to make sure that your excitement doesn't overwhelm <laughs> your phone. So yeah. and yes, they have caged you in for sure. You asked the question, I'm answering it on behalf of everybody. But uh, congratulations, very innovative way. Usually what happens is that sometimes when the phone is pretty mediocre, then the launch event becomes very interesting and they, they spend a lot of money on it. And sometimes when the phone is very interesting, they say, you don't really need to do too much. We just launch it in you know, a plain Simple. vanilla way. Yes. And that becomes the other problem. So innovative phone with a very innovative launch. So congratulations to you and your sure. team. Great. Thank you. Thanks a lot. So Rajiv, uh, today I'd like to do something which is dramatically different from what you usually do. Okay. Usually you put us in a spot by 
in, in, a, in your show or on the stage or sometimes even in your columns. But this time, I would like to ask you questions and hopefully you can answer the questions. Okay, question. I was told that that's what's going to happen today. Instead of me being the griller, I am to be grilled. But I look forward to it. I mean, uh, should be an interesting session because you're going to ask me things. So yeah. uh, we'll keep this really honest, right? Yes, okay, absolutely. Let's get started. Absolutely. Good. Okay. So coming to the point, uh, the first question is, uh, you saw the Vivo Nex. Mm -hmm. uh, what were your first impressions when you saw the Vivo Nex? Uh, okay. That's one. And second, uh, were you also, some li like some others, a little surprised to see all these innovations packed into the Nex? Okay. So two questions there, right? Yeah. So I'll take them one by one. Let's talk first about whether I was surprised or shocked. I'm going to shock you by saying I wasn't surprised. That's because I think a lot of people seem to forget that Vivo has a very solid history of innovation and invention behind them. So we tend to forget because you play in the mid-range and everything else. So, but so many different things which we tend to forget. So for instance, Vivo had the thinnest phone in the world ever, 5mm. Yes, I less think, than 5mm. Right? Mm. About 5mm, less than 5mm. Mm. Then I remember Vivo launching uh, the world's first dual camera, yes. 20 megapixels. Yes. Then yes. you had the industry in the world's first 24 megapixel front camera. Right. And then, of course, you took the world by shock by coming in first with an in-display fingerprint scanner. Mm -hmm. That, I think, was a very big deal. And I have to confess, that did surprise and shock me. There were many rumors. Mm -hmm. Now, the biggest world giants, I'm sure these guys all know very well the two names I'm talking about. The two biggest world giants, the rumors were out there that they would be coming out first yes. with it. Right. But not only did you beat them there, mm -hmm. you've kept that pace. So till now, the only real phone that can do this still comes from you. Now coming, I think, to my first impression. Uh, I think the, exp exp the experience was very interesting with the level and the number of technologies that have got crammed into a single 6.5 inch device. I explain what that means. Usually what happens is even with a flagship phone, one or two wow innovations are usually enough. Because hmm. that's what you want to do. Yes. You want to spread your innovations right. into right. the future. future. So you've crammed a lot of them. The full view immersive display, the fingerprint scanner, very responsive front camera and the way it pops out. Very well done. The overall performance is very nicely done. And then I think the part that I am most excited about as a journalist, as a person that has to write reviews of these products, is that finally in a market like India, the mobile phone market that India has become. Yes, it's the, a great market, but it's become very, um, I would say, commoditized. It's almost all the same. Something here or there is mm. tweaked around a little. So I think the term we used is a very homogenized, stubbornly homogenized market. I think here, this one could be a bit of a game changer. It'll make the people wake up. Sure, sure. Yeah, I think you touched upon a very, very, very important word, which is homogenized. And I'm sure a lot of us here also believe that the market is becoming homogenized. Yes. Would you like to elaborate on that a bit more? So you know what I mean by homogenized is that it all becomes about a single thing, right? For instance, what is it that became the big deal in the last few months? The notch, either you love it or you hate it. That's the debate, right? Um, put in a dual camera at the back, uh, put a glass back, and you've got a flagship in that. or take one or two of those features and bring it into mid-range, take one feature and put it into the lowest range, mm -hmm. and you've got yourself the phone that they want to launch. Mm -hmm. I think that really becomes quite irritating because at the end of the day, whether it's the customer, whether it's the brand, or whether it's the consumer, or even the media and the journalists, it's all the same. Yes. Right? And nothing new really seems to excite us. So mm -hmm. I think we're all getting very jaded with the whole thing. So I'm glad to see some radical thinking coming in where you're not just saying, okay, we'll save these two innovations up. You just put them all in. So I think that's the cool part. That's what I've enjoyed. And I think it will make the competition wake up too. Sure. Thanks. <laughs> So uh, also, I think uh, when you talk about innovation, I must tell you, we are also always pushing the envelope of innovation. Okay. And the latest example of that is the bezel-less experience which you get in the next. Right. What would you like to share on that? So, you know, as I mentioned, of course, taking the notch away is a very big deal. It is. Uh, it, it changes the psychological way you use. We've done many studies where it tells you that if you've got a bezel-less display and then suddenly a notch comes up somewhere, it's 
it's, it, it breaks everything that you're doing. Sometimes things get hidden behind it. Sometimes your gestures don't work. You want to use one finger for notification, two fingers for quickly getting to quick mm -hmm. settings and opening the whole thing. They don't work. So it becomes a bit of a problem. A completely near bezel-less, no notch phone is a very immersive experience. So I think that is where I enjoyed it. At first glance with your next phone, uh, you can't really tell where the phone begins, where's the screen, where does it curve into the back. So I think that's cool. But then the part that I enjoyed the most, and I'm going to ask all of you to do this. I did this so many times. Uh, I'm not much of a selfie person, but this you know, science fiction, very futuristic pop-out camera. Mm. So I think in the first one hour when I got the phone, I must have popped it in and out 70, 80 times. I think I took it only two or three selfies, but I popped it in and out 70, mm. 80 times because it just feels good, the swiftness of the moment, the way it comes out. So I'm going to give you not a 5 on 5, and I'll tell you why. I'm okay. going to give you a 4 on 5. Because okay. there is one part that I, and I'm sure everybody else here, is still kind of thinking about. At the end of the day, it's a thin, very, very fragile looking pop-out mm. camera. Mm. And it comes on a motor mm. and then pops back in. Mm. But the way we use our phone, something that is popping out, you know, there can be some kind of a pressure we put onto it. There could be something where we, we bump it onto something mm. else. The longevity mm. of this, yeah. it looks too fragile to me. So could it be that, you know, I, I flick it on something and the pressure breaks it? Sure. Something like sure. that. It, it, it's a scare. So that's why I'm sure. saying four and five right now. <laughs> so okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think you mentioned two words, thin and fragile. Yeah. So thin for sure. Uh, fragile, uh, I think they can check out a video. I have a okay. video for you. Uh, okay. So let's All play right. that video. Okay. Now. Yeah, I, I, I think you guys deserve an applause for that one. Uh, so you not only got a, a ballet dancer to dance on a phone, so I don't think that's ever been done before. More interestingly, between 12.5 to 17.5 kgs of weight was put yes. onto each of the cameras. Yes. So that yes. I think is pretty remarkable. Okay, so let me put it this way, sold. <laughs> okay, this is an interesting one. But I'll tell you another thing which uh, I don't know if um, when you're engineers, your R&D departments, when they start to create an innovation, mm. maybe they don't think of all the impact it can have. So let me mm. think, I'm, I think I'm going to tell you something that you may not have realized, okay. what you've done with the pop-out camera. Okay. See, the way we use our phones, uh, the way we you know, put them on our, onto a table, we put them into our pocket, uh, we have keys in our pocket, we have so many other things, jeans pocket, uh, women put them into a handbag, sometimes we put them into our man bags. So what happens is constantly as the screen and everything else is going through those little, little scratches, one of the things we don't realize is cameras don't have covers, right? Yeah. So there is something called micro scratches. And it is estimated that in six months of ownership of a phone, you get about 70,000 micro scratches on the lens. 
That's a very big deal because it's the way we use our phones, right? And what happens with those micro scratches is that while it's very difficult to spot them with the naked eye, however, they make a huge difference on the wrong side of things in our photography. You know, light scatters, hmm. the way the picture comes out yes. comes out much duller. So yes. over a period of time, while we think that maybe it's the camera performance, it's really the screen hmm. getting those micro scratches. Sure. Now, what you may not have realized hmm. is by putting this pop-in, pop-out camera, we've literally given it a cover. Yes. It pops in yes. and it's always protected. So yes. I think something you may not have thought of, but here's another innovation. You'll not get micro scratches on this one. So this, I think, is a very big deal. At least your front selfies will always be crystal clear. Sure. Great, great. The 70,000 number, certainly, I didn't know. And I think that's, yeah. a, that's a great piece of insight. Could, actually, that would be the bare minimum. It bare goes minimum. more okay. than that. OK, yeah. OK. So we've covered the display, the whole bezel-less display experience. We've covered the camera. Right. Uh, there's another third big innovation which we have, the in-display fingerprint scanner. Right. And you've used it for some time. Correct. What's your experience on the in-display fingerprint So I'll tell you what, like I said, that's the one that took me by shock. Because, you know, it w it's what put Vivo and gave them global headlines. So all the, the geeks and the nerds and the reviewers and the bloggers and the journalists, everybody woke up. Because it really is true that, you know, you did it on the X20, that was fantastic. You put it in the Apex, that's very commendable. But while everyone in the media and the consumers have been applauding you, giving you those big global headlines, not very many people truly understand how difficult this technology actually is and why so many have tried and failed. So how is it? It's basically optical technology, yes. you know. Yes. Uh, the most important thing is it has to have enough light to illuminate your finger, right. even though it's pressed against a screen, so right. the light that comes from within. Right. It must work in sunlight. Yes. Most screens fail in sunlight, but this yes. has to have enough brightness to recognize the ridges yes. on your fingerprint. And it must do it in microseconds, because yes. had this technology been there, but I had to wait much longer than in a normal place yes. where the fingerprint scanner would be, it wouldn't really have been the big deal that it is. So it works really quickly. So there's no finding a button. There's no, uh, you know, uh, flipping the phone over to find the fingerprint scanner at the back. There's no camera lens that you are by mistake yes. rubbing, thinking yes. it's the fingerprint scanner. It's there, right there on the screen, very intuitively. And I have to say, on the next, I've realized it works much faster than before. Yes, you're right. Uh, on the next, uh, we've evolved our technology, uh, and now the next in-display in fingerprint scanner certainly works faster and is more accurate. Okay. My colleague Ankit, when he takes us through the product, uh, right. will show us the whys and hows okay. of it. All right, great. Okay. So one last question. Okay. Uh, what is your one-line response on next? Okay, so that's my, so I have to give it a tagline, right? No, I'll tell you what. So there's one more thing I'm going to point out. I, I, uh, I think it's a forgotten piece of technology, forgotten piece of innovation that we never ever talk about on phones. Even brands don't talk about it. It's, it's been completely put to one side, mm. and that is the sound itself, right? Yes. Eventually, you will use your phone to make voice calls. Eventually, you will use it to make WhatsApp calls and other things that actually need sound. And what you've been able to do with this, you've literally, and I'd like you all to try it because it's there uh, in their uh, demo zone, more than all the other really cool things, do try this out, and that is their sound casting technology. They've literally taken out the earpiece and thrown it away, and this is brand new technology, and I was quite afraid that it may be too loud for people yes. also. But, you know, from the, the way it enhances sound quality, it's, the bass is very powerful, the treble is much smoother, mm -hmm. and voice calls even from another area where there's a lot of sound comes together and comes through very, very yes. nicely. So, you know, don't take my word for it, don't take his word for it. Try out the sound casting technology out there. You'll be quite pleasantly surprised that finally somebody thought sound was again very important. Now, or that one-liner that you want. So, you know, it's, 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 I think, the exact first feeling that I got. And I'm going to take that and make it my tagline. And that is that I think it's a very, uh, it's a very radical and revolutionary way to deliver the future, but right now. Oh, great. I think uh, those are very encouraging words. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so point. much. Thank Martin. you and congratulations. And everybody do too. try out uh, everything in the demo zone. I'm going to be right there with you guys. So I'll see you all of you there. Thank you. Thank you very thank much. You. Bye. Thanks, Rajiv. So ladies and gentlemen, that was Rajiv giving us a sneak peek into his experience of the all new Next. 
before our next product manager, Ankit, runs us through the product details with each of its features, I want to leave you with these thoughts. We are very proud of what we have for you today. But I can assure you that what we showcase today is only a fraction of our innovation pipeline. We will continue to explore all possibilities, rethink everything possible, be it design or technology, and continuously break industry conventions. All this to create a larger impact on the industry and to bring to our consumers the most impeccable smartphone experience. Ladies and gentlemen, the India journey for Vivo has been a great one so far. At our state-of-the-art manufacturing facility in Greater Noida, we have been manufacturing not just our highest selling portfolio, but also creating premium and noteworthy products like the Nex. Yes, my dear friends, Nex is also being made in India, in our factory with well-trained professionals who are crafting it with a lot of finesse and love. This is a clear testimony to our commitment to make in India. As a young, ambitious brand, here to enrich and empower your lives, we are very hopeful that from here on, our journey in India is only going to become bigger and better. On that note, I would like to invite on stage Ankit, who will take us through the details and the in-depth technologies of the Vivo Next. That's it from my side for today. Love India, love Vivo. Thank you, Nippon. It's an honor to be on this stage. Hi, I'm Ankit, and it is my pleasure today to introduce Vivo Next to India. In the beginning of 2018, we showcased something that the world had never seen before, the groundbreaking Apex prototype at Mobile World Congress. Amazing, stunning, incredible, and revolutionary are some of the words you used to describe the Apex. Not all comments were positive, though. I'll admit that. They said it is just a prototype. This will never become real. I don't think this is possible with the current technology. We are grateful for the love we got from you. And we understand your concerns as well. But we always had the belief in ourselves to fulfill our dream. And just a few months later, next is real. Next is being mass produced and is available for everyone to use. And now I really know that you're very eager to know about the product. So I ask, what is Next? The Next is a new way of thinking. The Next is a new way of looking at things. The Next is an entire display. The display is the first thing that you notice when you use Next. It is undeniably big, essentially bezel-less, and entirely notchless. The smartphone industry has been in the pursuit of making the phones as bezel-less as possible. One of the most widely adopted solutions has been the notch display. However, we at Vivo have always believed that notch was never the final solution, but rather a step towards making the phones truly bezel-less. I'm really excited to say that next is our attempt towards creating the ultimate bezel-less phone, which we proudly call the Ultra Full View Display. The display of next is 6.59 inches big and comes with an aspect ratio of 19.3 is to 9. Even though this number sounds very big in your head, it is as compact as an ordinary 5.7 inch smartphone. Also, we have kept the bezels extremely slim. Just 1.71 mm on the sides, 2.16 mm at the top, and 5.08 mm at the bottom, which gives it an astounding screen-to-body ratio of 91.24%. Yes, you heard that right, it is 91.24%. The 
the ultra full view display is an incredible feat of engineering. But making it was not easy at all. Firstly, we had to get rid of the earpiece. Many people do not realize how revolutionary that is. But earpiece design in our industry had not changed for decades. But we wanted the top bezel to be narrower. So we created our own screen sound casting technology, and now the sound is directly transmitted to the vibrating display of necks to each the receiver. What you get is a crystal clear sound quality along with a narrow, slim top bezel. We had to do a similar thing for the sensors. Traditionally, sensors also have to remain in front part of the screen to function well. But with next front being all display, we had to change that. For the light sensor, we developed our own light data compensation algorithm so that the light sensor can be placed beneath the display and still work properly. Take a moment to think about that. A light sensor which is literally out of sight. For the proximity sensor, we developed a micro seam infrared distance sensing technology so that the proximity sensor can also be placed beneath the display. Even though these sensors are not visible to you, they still behave and function just as well as any other regular sensor. If you think that is amazing, then get ready to be amazed some more. The biggest obstacle towards creating the display was the positioning of the front camera. And for this, we had to really, really think out of the box. We hid the 8MP front camera under the display and now control it with a micro-drive micro system. This micro-stepping motor includes an independent drive IC and precise control algorithms so that it works the way we intended it to. It's there when you need it, and when you don't require it, it's not taking up valuable space on this display that can be better used as a screen. We also carefully adjusted the elevation speed and added some great sound effects too. What we wanted was the best possible balance of practicality, usability, and beautiful aesthetics. We believe this is an incredibly clever way to achieve the ultra full view display without compromising on the user experience. This technology is indeed very clever. It is possible that more smartphone manufacturers might try to adopt this technology. And I say, good luck to them. But you should remember who did it first. It was pioneered by Vivo. The innovations in Nex are not only limited to the front part of the display. When you turn over the device, you also get a series of present surprises. We have used innovative color diffraction technology to provide you the Nex in black. When you hold Nex in your hand, you will definitely be amazed. One more thing that we're really proud to integrate into the ultra full view display is the in-display fingerprint scanning. Two years ago, if someone had told us that complex fingerprints can be scanned through the display to unlock a phone, we would have said science fiction. But with our dedication to perfection, it is now a reality. Even though others are still experimenting with the in-display fingerprint scanner, Vivo has shipped more than 2 million devices with working in-display fingerprint scanners. And with Nex, this technology is in its third generation. The third generation is 50% more accurate than the previous one. It can also scan a larger fingerprint image by using a much, much smaller sensor. We have been able to reduce the rejection rate by 30% and improve the unlock speed by 10%. Now, Summarizing the display of next for you, it comes with 6.59 inches of ultra full view display, which is made possible through screen sound casting technology, hidden light sensor, hidden proximity sensor, third generation in display fingerprint scanning, and most importantly, the elevating front camera. This video will tell you more about it. Bang, bang, boom.
Vivo Smartphone. Thank you. Thank you. That video really showed us how beautiful this ultra full view display is. But let me assure you, it looks more beautiful in person. Another thing, again we ask you, what is next? The next is like a human. And to be more precise, it has artificial intelligence that is like a human. We have equipped Next with Google Assistant and Google Lens out of the box. We've also given a special button so you can access Google Assistant and Google Lens by just the press of a single button. This is not possible without top quality software and top quality hardware. Through a deep cooperation with Qualcomm, we have made sure that Next AI engine is three times more powerful than the predecessor. But that's not it. Jovi can also help you in taking great photos. We have equipped Next with AI scene detection and AI filters technology. The AI scene detection on Next can detect up to 17 different scenes. So whenever you open the camera, it can automatically detect the mode you're trying to capture and configure the camera settings for you. After you have taken the picture, it will suggest best filter you should use according to the condition to give you the best possible results. Another feature that we're really proud to announce is the AI portrait framing. I think all of you will agree that smartphone cameras that we have in our hand are getting better day by day. But the pictures they, they, they take is, are not getting better. We believe that is partly due to poor composition. And that is why you see images like this on social media all the time. So to correct that, we are introducing AI portrait framing. We are using AI to let you guide where you should keep your subject while taking the picture. This is a next step in the photographing experience. Take a look at these pictures on how the AI portrait framing can improve your photography experience and make you a better photographer. A great challenge that photographers face is the backlight while taking the pictures. But with advanced hardware and advanced AI algorithms, that is not the case with Nix. The dynamic range is as high as up to 11.3 exposure value. So that means all the details that are captured in dark areas as well as in brightly lit areas are captured and preserved carefully. We have also used smart frame selection technology and now your phone can decide the number of frames to use per picture to give you the best possible backlight effects. If you know Vivo, then you know how good our face beauty effects are. So without further explanation, let's take a look at the samples. We've also equipped Next with P3 color gamut photography and P3 color gamut display. The stark difference between a P3 color gamut display and a non-P3 color gamut display can be seen in the image behind me. It enables you to see a wider range of colors in a more accurate manner. Summarizing the key parts of the Vivo Next cameras for you, it comes with new generation Sony IMX363 sensor, 12 megapixel dual pixel sensors, f1.8 large aperture, 1.4 micron pixel, 4-axis OIS, and P3 color gamut technology. This video will tell you more about the photographing prowess of Tex.
Thank you. That's how good the camera on Nunex is. But we weren't satisfied with that. We also wanted to improve the gaming experience on Nex. If you think of your world as a game, then Nex is the perfect device for you. It never runs out of power, never loses signal, never overheats, and of course, comes with top class specification. Nex runs on Qualcomm Snapdragon 845, which boosts the CPU and GPU performance by 30% and while still remaining power efficient by 20%. Adding to that, a big 6.59 inch vibrant display, 8 GB of RAM and 4000 mAh of battery, you get a gaming experience that is unmatched by any other phone. We have addressed one of the major issues that gamers face while playing game, that is overheating. We have, we have devised a new cooling system for Nex. Now, even after hours of playing games on the highest levels possible, it only reaches human skin temperature. Take a look at these impressive statistics. This is what zero overheating looks like. I'm sure when you get, when you get your hands on the next, you will definitely feel an improvement in this regard. This video will tell you how we have optimized the gaming experience on the next for you. smartphone. At Vivo, we are dedicated towards providing our consumers with the best-in-class audio experience. Hi-Fi is in Vivo's very DNA. And with Next, we take a Hi-Fi experience to a new level. We have used system-in-package technology and packaged a digital-to-analog converter and three operational amplifiers into one single chip. Even though this reduces the space it takes, it optimizes the audio quality and reduces the power and increases the power efficiency, which gives you the audio quality that you cannot get on any other phone. That was all the highlights from Nex. Reviewing some key specification of Nex, Nex runs has a 6.59 inches of ultra full view display, 8 GB of RAM. 128 GB of storage, Qualcomm Snapdragon 845, 12 megapixel dual pixel sensors, 8 megapixel elevating front camera, third generation in display fingerprint scanning, and 4000 mAh of battery. That's all there is to know about the Nix. Thank you and thanks for being a great audience. Thank you, Ankit. Wow. That does look like a piece of tech out of a sci-fi movie. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, please welcome on stage Mr. Jerome Shen, CMO Vivo India, to unveil the latest offering from Vivo, the next. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Namaste. Mina Nam Jerome here. Okay, welcome to today's launch. And thanks a lot to our business partners and our friends from the media. Thanks a lot for the past four years that you're supporting continuously to Vivo. And without your supporting, we cannot grow so high. So thanks again. You know, Vivo Next is a device for the future. It comes from a vision, but today it becomes a reality. And without the supporting, without the care, without the passion from our R&D team, the design team, the quality control team, we cannot make this happen. And because of your supporting, because of the passion of the team, we continuously create surprising for our target, for our end consumers. So now, 
is the most exciting part. V1 next, the price is 44,990 Indian rupee. It will be available from 21st July with the selected partner stores, Vivo V stores, and Amazon.in. So now let me present you the future. Enjoy the lunch, enjoy the future. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you all once again for taking out the time to join us today. For those of you who cannot wait to get their hands on Vivo Next, I invite you all to proceed to the Next Experience Center and experience the Next up close and personal. The next experience center is just behind the elevated main stage. The future is borderless, and that future is here. I've got the Vivo Next. The fully bezel-less phone. No notch, no obstructions of any kind. There is what your full screen display looks like. It is like just holding a window into something. The screen is 6.59 inches. Snapdragon 845. Eight gigabytes of RAM. 128 gigs of storage. And a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. This is a full flagship from Vivo. The front-facing camera, where is that? slides up and down whenever it's needed and makes this noise in the process. So it is a dual lens setup with a flash underneath. 12 megapixel primary and five megapixels. Our bezel-less future has finally arrived. The future is borderless and that future is here. I've got the Vivo Next. The fully bezel-less phone. No notch, no obstructions of any kind. There is what your full screen display looks like. It is like just holding a window into something. The screen is 6.59 inches. Snapdragon 845. Eight gigabytes of RAM. 128 gigs of storage. And a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. This is a full flagship from Vivo. The front-facing camera. Where is that? <laughs> Slides up and down whenever it's needed and makes this noise in the process. So it is a dual lens setup with a flash underneath. 12 megapixel primary and five megapixels. Our bezel-less future has finally arrived.